I fucking hate scooters. The only one why that one I can tolerate is because it's not like that noisy piece of shit I heard going up my street there. Me! Should be against the fucking law. Jesus H. Christ. It's like almost like fucking having nails on a chalkboard. Ugh. Just thinking about it gives me the willies. That's right, that's the street that goes right up to Prefontaine Metro Station. Right here in the Hochelaga district. Need some uh, urine soak mattresses? Oh, maybe they're not urine soak. Oh, fuck, that's a nice fate, isn't it? Not common, that Volkswagen. Still can't believe it's a fucking Volkswagen, frankly. It's so odd, it's so, uh, it's so sleek and handsome and luxurious. You know it's gotta be a fucking diehard Volks Volkswagen fanatic who owns that fucking thing. You know? Yeah, beautiful evening. I finally kicked myself in the ass hard enough to go out because it was sunny uh, for the last four hours or less, I guess. I don't know. And uh, it just wasn't because yesterday, if you know Montreal well, well, I walked from uh, from fucking, uh, like, let's say, Dorval uh, bus terminal to uh, Sources. Dorval to Sources. How many fucking people you know will do that, you know? Yeah, but, you know, when you're, uh, you got a will, there's a way. So that's why sometimes I think myself ever I should lose my legs or use of them. Frankly, uh, I don't know. I think I'd just fucking kill myself. Beautiful roof, eh? That reminds me. It's a really a damn shame about that. Ah, it's really a damn shame about that theater that burnt down in uh, Chinatown the other day. It was apparently the oldest theater. Look at those beautiful doggies. It was the oldest theater uh, in the city. Uh, sorry, in Canada, excuse me. I think something like 150 years old or something. And, uh... Is that non-scrap I see over there? Is it? Definitely not doing the 34 route, that's for sure. What am I talking about? It's a coach. It's a freaking coach. It's an Orleans Express going to that garage, going to the car wash and whatever. Ah, uh, shit, I wish I'd gotten earlier. Fucking goddamn short days. What a bitch, you know? Jeez, you know, and unfortunately it doesn't get better, really. When does it start to get better daylight-wise is really in January. But by that time, you're in the fucking dead of winter. Uh, uh, I don't mean to complain. Actually, yes, I do. Look at this fucking sign, eh? These are kind of a laugh, aren't they? Maximum, 24 ton, 37 ton, 49 ton. I think some guy's gonna stop his truck and say, Well, I'm overloaded, fuck. What the hell am I doing here? Should be down there. I'm not sure damn fucking... Uh, Boulevard uh, slash Highway 20. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at this point, I might as well, uh, since I do this as a vlog, I guess, as well, I might as well uh, talk about Trump for a moment. And, uh, you know, by the way, it's, it's really funny how people were like, Oh, my God! It's a shocker. We're all stunned that he won. What the hell are they talking about? Is that just bullshit from the media or what? What are you talking about? Maybe it's because I'm psychic. I fucking knew he was going to win. And, you know, I don't want to insult any of you, my, my, my fellow uh, American viewers. Um, but, I mean, I knew a lot of you were going to vote for him because Hillary is a fucking bitch. She does not connect with humans. That's a pretty impressive vehicle, isn't it? She doesn't connect with fucking humans. She's a fucking bitch. And she's a crook. She's a fucking miser. Okay? That's pretty good looking. I'm not a big fan of these personally. Too boxy. Way too boxy. I mean, it's a fucking box of wheels. But anyway, so, uh, and Trump, at least there is one thing I do respect about that crazy bastard. Is that, you know, he's like me. He's like all of you who are subscribed to my channel. Or almost all of you who are like of the mentality, well, you know. We need, it's, it, things have gone overseas. All the jobs have gone, you know, to fucking China or Taipei or Mexico or whatever. And uh, uh, bringing them back, I mean, that's, that's, that's ludicrous. Ludicrous. It's not going to happen. Alphonse de Roi. Not going to fucking happen. I had a friend who had one of these fucking ugly ass things. Ugly. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's just ludicrous. It's just so not possible to bring those jobs back. How the fuck are you supposed to do that? You know? There's Notre Dame right over there. How the fuck are you supposed to do that? 
it's not possible. It's one of those nice things to say, like an election promises, but I mean, it's not enough just to impose a tariff, a tax on companies who have their goods made, uh, you know, other than in North America. So, I mean, I, again, I respect the idea of it. You know, those fucking jobs shouldn't ever have left here. That's the whole problem. That fucking NAFTA bullshit, free trade agreement. What a crock of shit that turned out to be. Oh yeah, we all we all fucking win, of course, by paying a half a uh, half the price on products that would cost us what they used to cost is like twice as much, right? And that's one of the problems with with the idea of bringing back uh, fucking jobs here. Forget about it. There's all, a whole bunch of other problems as well, but I still don't know what the hell they're doing over here. They've had fucking cranes here for like over a year. I have no idea what the fuck they're doing over here. C'est quelqu'un de la ville là, qui travaille pour la ville, puis ils savent qu'est-ce qu'ils font là. Donc j'aimerais bien ça savoir. I was just saying in French. If somebody works for the city and they know what the hell they're doing over here with all those cranes, Christ, it almost looks like they're fucking exploring for oil. Those cranes have been there for a long time, man. Specifically that big one. I'm very curious about that. You know? Oh, is that a train out here? That'd be nice, eh? Yeah. Oh, incidentally, I think I spotted a UFO uh, in Dorval uh, last week. Just a light, just a light that never moved. It was uh, really something, actually. And there was this weird ass spiral looking cloud. I don't know, I just think it was related. I don't know. Anyway, I thought maybe it was a satellite, and I'm like, no. And I wanted to walk up here specifically right, right at sunset here. Goddamn fucking sun is setting up so fast it's not even funny. Look at this. Practically missing it because of those clouds. There's uh, one of the garages for the uh, public works of Mo Montreal. Doesn't really have too much left. What time is it? 4 hours, 9 minutes, 6 hours, 9 minutes, 4 hours, 9. She's real fine, my 4 hours, 9. She's real fine, my 4 hours, 9, my 4. Yeah, man, that was a great song. Of course, that was the Beach Boys singing about the uh, famous uh, 409 engine available on your Chevrolet in 1963. 62 or 60, 63, yeah. Yeah, and. Uh, there's the uh, the CP line there with the it's a yard, but really not the yard it used to be. Frankly, uh, used to be a, it used to be even fucking bigger than this. Like where all these trucks are, uh, I think this is where it just continued. You know, yeah, I should have left earlier, but I'm glad I left. Help me fight off that depression a bit. They're depressed about certain things. Not so much Trump, but just I don't know finances and. Uh, you know, my, uh, wow, look at that beautiful sunset, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous. Not Gore-Tex, gorgeous. Right here on the St. Catherine Street overpass. Yeah. Of course, I'm thinking two things right now. Fire trucks responding from Station 13, which we passed down there. Maybe a freight going by here. Maybe local, maybe not. And since I'm here, we might as well cross the street. Have a look at the other side here, right? Whoa, look at this. Whoa, they got a shit pile of uh, stuff there. I think it's probably all salt for the uh, upcoming uh, snow that's coming. Actually, it's supposed to snow tomorrow's crap. Heading east, bound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That cloud kind of looks like an S. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's it. They uh, sort of keep all that salt, man. Get rid of all that white shit. You know? Really? How am I doing on the time here? Holy fuck. Already 10 minutes almost. Ooh, look. Old Regal. I like that, even though it's dirty and not perfect. It's an old Regal. It's 1990s, you know? I like that shiz. I should have forgot to mention stupid me to fucking Port of Montreal right over there, of course. Yeah, Port of Montreal right there. And it's very, very long, as you can imagine. 
Highway 20 slash Metro Dam Boulevard. Trucking. Not a great place to see some transportation action. Indeed. Indeed. And then uh, you can see what the continuation of the uh, public works here of Hochelaga. All different stones and cement blocks and all kinds of shit they use for uh, roads and blocking and all that crap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Back to base, Joe. There's something I never really noticed before. This tower has to have been connected to the, uh, the freight yard over here. I'm sure of it. I'm going to zoom in on it and have a look at it sometime later when I upload this. Yeah. Oh, what panic, tabarnak. That's a bloody, bloody nice evening though. Well, not bloody, but it's a hell of a nice evening. It's nice if I got a ship coming through here. It's too bad the cargo ships don't come here. They only come through here to, to park, to load or unload. You know. I don't know what the hell this building is they're making. Let's go back to the other side here. I remember the, uh, <laughs> I was just thinking back to, uh, I think the time just before I moved here, uh, I don't know, maybe I guess weeks, uh, maybe a week before, not even, I think it was the day before I got my apartment, so it was like, you know, fucking July, whatever, June 2013, and I'm walking over this bridge, right, and I remember there was a 57 Chevy four-door sedan, a Bel Air that went by me, very nice. Excellent condition. And then there were these fucking fighter planes that fucking scared the bejesus out of me. I fucking came out <laughs> fucking screaming by and all this shit. Oh my fucking god, it scared the bejesus out of me. Fucking uh, about as scary as when uh, my friend Joseph, who uh, bought the train painting I did for him, uh, he sends me a message saying the fucking, he got the painting and it was torn right down the middle. I'm like, what? Oh my Christ. I said, oh my god, Jesus Christ, my heart is sinking. Oh. Scrap! <laughs> Scrap! Yeah. And then there's all this fucking gibberish graffiti. I'll never respect that. Never, never, never. Never! Yeah. There's for the cripples there. I'm sorry, that's a bad joke. Handicap, handicap. Physically challenged. Look at this fucking guy. I got a convertible MX-5. Doesn't matter if it's only five degrees. Fuck. I put the heat on. It'll look really cool. <sighs> last for me. Enjoy your fucking last ride, buddy. Before because it's gonna start snowing tomorrow. And if it's not tomorrow when it rains, it's gonna start on fucking. Uh... When's it gonna start again? I don't remember. Uh, Monday. It's the weatherman. They gave the, the the weather office. You know, Environment Canada. They gave us this. Uh, Special weather statement, you know, basically letting us know beware, snow is in the way, but they don't really fucking know. Now they're saying like, oh, I don't know, like five centimeters, and then, you know, the more further up you're going to go, it's like 15 to 25, and they don't fucking know, man. They don't know anymore, fuck. How many fucking times did they there was going to be a snowstorm, and, and, and it didn't fucking, we didn't get shit practically, or we got like five centimeters. They don't fucking know anymore. Call it because of global warming, call it because of whatever the fuck you want, I don't know. Frankly, some of the squatters that come down here, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which reminds me of a song I love by the Rolling Stones. What children? It's just a shadow away. It's just a shadow away. It's just a kiss away. It's just a kiss away. It's just a shadow away. Whoa, yeah. Don't it feel that way, though? I think it definitely does, unfortunately. Somebody like Trump in power? I mean, guy's got advisors, but fuck. What do you think's gonna fucking happen, really, you know? Christ almighty. Oh, yeah, I've seen these trucks before. They're still fixing this fucking street. Well, I guess I'm gonna wrap this up here. Getting darker. How long have I been filming, though? 
Oof, going on 60 minutes, definitely wrapping this up. Yeah. And uh, that's it. We're going to end right here on St. Catherine and Bercy. And right now I'm going to give a plug right uh, to one of my favorite restaurants just up the street here on Bercy. Called Restaurant Bercy. And where that fucking place has been open and serving deliciousness since 1973. Most notably for the pizza. And there's the Jacques Cartier Bridge. Wah. Police cruiser. And jogging. Yeah. Not too warm though. I gotta put my gloves on. So that's it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that. That's all, folks.